Hi, this is Mike Scramstead of CDOCS and welcome to the tip of the day. In this tip, I'd like to talk a little bit about zirconia infiltration. Now what zirconia infiltration is, is painting on a liquid to pre-sintered zirconia to change color after it's sintered. So what you're going to do here is on the left hand side you see a custom zirconia abutment and it's, it's fairly white, the shade. So there's not a lot of shading options when it comes to zirconia abutments. So if I wanted to change this white zirconia abutment into an A3, you can take uh, a number of different zirconia infiltration liquids. The example I'm using here is from Vita. It's a Vita HTYZ liquid in the A3. So you're going to paint it on before you center the restoration. Now if you do that, when it comes out of the sintering program, it's going to change the base shade of that abutment. So it's very easy. It's not technique sensitive at all. Um, it's kind of like painting or, or dyeing an Easter egg. You know, it's very, very porous and it's going to absorb this color into the inside. So we're just going to paint it on here prior to sintering the restoration and then when you center it, it's going to come out the new shade. Now there's many different infiltration liquids you can use and if you want to have fun with it you certainly can. Here's an example of me kind of playing around in the posterior with a, a base shade of an A2 but I'm also playing with some pink just to kind of see what you can do. Now obviously on this posterior molar pink is not super important uh, but it was a good opportunity for me just to try out what is possible. Now there's different shades of pink you can use but you can imagine if you run into a super thin biotype and you're worried about the zirconia bleeding through the tissue, this might be an option for you. So hopefully that helps and you can see this particular case on this custom abutment I did on this molar and it turned out very, very nice. So hopefully this helps. Infiltration, pretty cool thing. For more tips like this, please visit us at CDOCS. Thank you.